You think you know how the world works? What if I told you the reality you know is one of many? Hello everyone. After watching Ant-Man and the Wasp, it seems that the MCU had a lot of Dakota references to the spiritual and metaphysical world. Once again, provoking their audience to expand their conscious awareness. I'm Ariana and in this video, we're going to dive deep into the 2018 movie Ant-Man and the Wasp, specifically talking about the quantum realm and the Dolores Cannon teachings. Before I get started, I wanted to give a quick shout out to my husband Joel for helping me with this decoded series. Ant-Man is the name of several fictional superheroes appearing in the Marvel comic books. He was created by Stan Lee, Larry Lieber, and Jack Kirby. Ant-Man first made his appearance in the 1962 comic book Tales to Astonish No. 35. The man behind the mask was originally the brilliant scientist Dr. Hank Pym after he invented a substance that can change size. Eric O'Grady and Scott Lang, which was played by Paul Rudd in the movies, also took on the mantle of Ant-Man after the original changed his superhero identity to various other aliases. We're going to be taking a look at the emphasis of the quantum realm in this movie and how it relates to the spiritual and metaphysical world. So what exactly is the quantum realm? If you've seen Ant-Man and the Wasp, you know that the quantum realm plays a key role in that film. In the comics, the quantum realm is known as the microverse. The storyline of the microverse was that Prince Wayfinder created it to escape the demonic beings called world demons. The microverse served as a paradise for Wayfinder's people and their descendants. What's unique about the quantum realm is that it's not another plane of existence. It's actually an entire universe that contains many worlds within it. The whole idea of multiple realms was explored in the movie Doctor Strange, when the Ancient One was teaching Doctor Strange about the multiverse as he spirals through them. She showed him countless realms and dimensions beyond his own. If you haven't seen my Doctor Strange Dakota video, please check it out. In the movie Ant-Man and the Wasp, Scott Lang is placed under house arrest because of his criminal actions in the first movie. While on house arrest, Scott Lang seems to go into a trance-like state and begin to have visions of Pym family flashbacks. Later in the movie, we find out that Janet Van Dyne, who is Dr. Pym's wife, was lost in the quantum realm and was sending messages to Scott from the quantum realm. Because of his visit to the Quantum Realm in the first Ant-Man movie, it appears that he is still tethered to that realm in some way. Now, when I first saw this, I instantly connected to it because it felt very familiar to my practice and the teachings of Dolores Cannon. If you want to know more about my hypnosis sessions, I have included a link to my website in the description below. Dolores Cannon was a hypnotherapist with almost 50 years experience specializing in past life regression. She refined her own unique method of hypnosis known as quantum healing hypnosis technique, also known as QHHT. She also developed an academy to train others to use this method of hypnosis. She has written several books in which she has a series of books called The Convoluted Universe where she talks about outer space other dimensions and multiple universes that her clients have explored while under hypnosis or trance-like state. Reading her books sound like something straight out of the comics. She seems more intense. Here are some examples as to why I feel these two are strongly connected. In this scene, Janet Van Dyne is being channeled through Scott Lang. Scott begins to take on the persona of Janet to help Hank and Hope locate her in the quantum realm. Dolores Cannon had a similar situation happen when Nostradamus came forward through several of her clients and essentially had her transcribe and decode his poetic quatrains that allegedly predicted the future. He mentions that he was still alive but coming forward on a different timeline or universe. 
I'll include a link to Dolores' interview on the subject below in the description. This next clip, Hank is seen going into the quantum realm to retrieve his wife. She mentions that she is not the same woman she was before and that the quantum realm changes you. And if you look at her, she looks uplifted and positive. This to me is a reference that the quantum realm can be a place of peace wisdom, and perhaps understanding. I myself have physically witnessed clients go under hypnosis using Dolores' quantum healing and come out a new person just like we see with Janet Van Dyne. In this last clip of the post-credit end scene, Scott goes subatomic back into the quantum realm to obtain quantum healing particles to help ghosts. In Dolores' work, she has helped heal thousands of people around the world and some even instantaneously through her quantum healing hypnosis technique and has also taught many students such as myself to do the same. It's as if using the quantum healing particles like in the movie to help those in need. It appears that Marvel is once again luring the audience to expand their mind and look for other methods of healing. These movies blow my mind with the amount of spiritual and metaphysical reference encoded in them. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below and let me know if you have ever tried any form of quantum healing. Also, hit the like and subscribe button to receive notification on upcoming videos. Thank you for watching The Realm of Prosperity, wishing you all abundance, love, and prosperity.